Saturday, Pegasus World Cup Day, we have a $1 million guarantee in our late pick four. It is a 50 cent wager. They are all stakes. This race is 9, 10, 11, and 12. I put a ticket together, $100. Went a little deep in there because of uh, the uh, $1 million jackpot guarantee. Let's start it off in the first leg. It's race number nine. It's the Gulfstream Park Turf Sprint. I went with the two Manhattan Dan has been training really sharply at Palm Beach Downs in preparation for its first start since a pair of really good performance here last year. Uh, won the Texas Glid in a real good time of 54 and 4 and followed that with a really amazing performance performance set fractions of 20 and 4 and 43 and 1 en route to a victory in the Fisher Island handicap. I used the one Rainbow Air who has the ability to come from off the pace and the obvious class of the field is the 10 Mongolian Saturday and this one hasn't been seen since uh, a poor performance in the uh, Grade 1 Breeders' Cup turf sprint but I think this one will bounce back a bullet work coming into this. I used a couple other horses in here, the 11 Power Late and the 8. So I went 5 deep in there as you see with my ticket. Uh, 5 deep in the first leg. I think it's a pretty wide open affair. Now, race number 10 is the La Previllante, and this one is a grade three event, the Previllante handicap. I really like the 12 Suffuse, making her 2017 debut after a stellar 2016 campaign. She won the grade three Glens Falls at Saratoga and was beaten only a nose in the grade one E.P. Taylor at uh, Woodbine. I used the seven alls in that race, the six promotional, and the four Desiree Clary, but really like the 12 suffuse near a horse you might want to think about singling in that race but i did go four deep with 12 7 6 and number four now, race number 11 is the WL McNighty Grade 3 event, and this is another wide-open affair. I did settle on the number 10, Mr. Maybe, who was impressive winning the 13 furlong, $100,000 John's Call at Saratoga, stretching out to a mile and a half in. Couldn't reel in the speedy heart-to-heart -heart that was in the 9 furlong Grade 3 Knickerbocker. Last time out, it was on the yielding course. Uh, I'm going to use this horse, but I'm also going to use the 6 Charming Kitten, who's the defending champion here. Hasn't been seen since racing in Europe, but comes back and loves this course. Twilight Eclipse, another horse I use. Long shot of the day, the number nine, Patterson Cross. This one is a full brother to two-time Pan American handicap winner right here at Gulfstream Park, and that's News uh, Dad. So this horse has the breeding, certainly to like this difference in the four Danish Dynaforma. Then we come to the feature event of the afternoon, and that is the Pegasus World Cup Grade 1. Guess what? I'm using two horses, one being Arrogate, the three-year-old champ. He breaks from the inside, and of course, California Chrome breaks from the outside post-12. I think these two horses have to be on your ticket. Couldn't separate one from the other. If another horse in this race should win, boy, is that late pick four going to pay well. But you see my ticket? Good luck with yours, and don't forget, Pegasus World Cup Day, Saturday afternoon.